Now to the summer shark surge among the sightings has been the great white shark and there's an ongoing effort to tag and track great whites. Ginger, she got to go out on the water on one of the missions. Again, Ginger, you saw multiple sharks out there. Michael, we saw 10 sharks in just four hours on the boat. We were with the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy, these folks that study the great white. We are just getting into great white season here in New England, and we wanted to know if the scenes is going to be different, and if so, why? They're fast, fierce, and the top predator of the sea. As we head into late summer, experts say great white sharks are just about to enter their prime. Already this year, there have been more than two dozen reported shark encounters in the United States. July is when it starts to really ramp up, and we are right now ramping up. Greg Scomel and the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy are on a mission to tag and track these creatures off the coast of Cape Cod as shark encounters rise. This is where the shark hunt begins. They let us join their expedition. Hello. It's always good when a ginger's getting on a boat tour. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Scomel says there are several factors driving the surge in shark sightings. Why are we seeing more sharks this season? The sharks are feeding close to shore. Shark populations are coming back from levels that were very low just a few years ago. And so they're starting to respond to protection. And we got lots and lots of people going in the water. So that just creates almost the perfect storm in terms of the potential for shark attacks. The Northwest Atlantic has warmed f three times faster than the rest of the world's oceans and the rest of the planet. Right. Could water temperature have anything to do with an increase in shark encounter? For certain species, absolutely. You know, we're seeing more and more tropical and subtropical sharks that never used to go north of Virginia coming up as far as Long Island. Out in the water, we see multiple wow. sharks almost immediately. Wow. I see it. Isn't that incredible? Greg stands at the front of the boat and uses a GoPro to catalog video of the shark oh, first. Oh. We have a catalog of over 500 uh -huh. we've identified so far. They don't have to be tagged for us to know who they are. Then they use sonar to tell if the shark is tagged already. This big one is already tagged. 3083. Each number attached to its name. That's White Shark Dylan. Scomel says they've tagged almost 300 sharks over the years, tracking them to protect their population and keep people safe. And we're amassing hundreds of thousands of data points mm. every year. So that is robust. And that way, that information can be used for what? We use it to project what's going to happen with the species in time and space especially relative to climate change. We use it to enhance public safety. When a shark is detected, that real-time data is relayed to beach managers and lifeguards. So within literally seconds, that lifeguard is getting a text, holding him and going, oh, white shark, you know, Charlie is here and is somewhere in our swimming area. Most sharks we saw were too low to tag. Now he's way down. Until lucky number 10. Yeah! Got it! We got a tag shark. With this much action this early in the season, Greg does anticipate beach closures all the way through Labor Day. But guys, he gave me one great tip. He said, just don't go in any farther than your waist and you're good to go. It's a great right. tip. <laughs> or, or just don't go in. <laughs> Even better tip. <laughs> oh, how was okay, it though? Well, that's your choice. It looked like fun. I know, but how was it for you, Ginger, being out on the water? I I loved being out there. It was a gorgeous day, but you know I love science. So to watch science happening and tend to think about what all that data could do yeah. to project what we'll know in the future about these beautiful beasts and they're so critical to our world, it was it was gorgeous. And I got tears in my eyes when we got mm. that tag on. Yeah, your passion is evident. Thank you, Ginger. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.